days canceled for LMPD officers tomorrow. Those are strict orders from Chief Conrad ahead of a scheduled counter protest tomorrow. The counter protesters are against the folks who have been outside the downtown immigration office calling for ICE to be abolished. WHS 11's Dennis Ting live for us this afternoon with the plan from police. Dennis. Well, Derek, Lisa, we've just gotten word that that news conference with LMPD has just started. That's where they'll be talking about what they'll be doing to prepare for tomorrow's demonstrations, both the protest and the counter protest that's expected to take place right here tomorrow morning. Now, the mayor and members of Metro Council are all calling for peace and safety during those demonstrations. It's been five days since protesters planted themselves in front of the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Building in Louisville, setting up tents and waving signs as part of a nationwide demonstration calling for an end to ICE and its immigration policy. Saturday morning, Occupy ICE protesters are planning another rally, but this time they'll be expecting company, with those opposing the Occupy ICE movement planning a counter-protest downtown. The last thing anyone wants is for anyone to be hurt as a result of different groups coming together who obviously feel very differently. Councilwoman Barbara Sexton Smith says she wants everyone to be able to exercise their First Amendment rights and to let their voices be heard, but she's also urging caution to those who will be downtown. I want to encourage folks to engage if they feel led or moved to do that, but to do so in a peaceful manner. Sexton Smith says she's been in touch with Louisville Metro Police who will be closing down roads and having a police presence at the protest and counter protest. I support the chief's decision to increase the security and because his and my number one concern will be public safety. And we do know that as of now, police are planning on closing some roads. There are some barriers that have been brought in. They're not set up yet, but they're on the sidewalk. Police will be setting those up tomorrow and blocking off some roads downtown. And again, we'll have more information about that, as well as more on what police will be doing tomorrow to prepare for these demonstrations. That'll be coming up again. The LM uh, LMPD is holding a news conference that's going on right now where they'll be talking about some of these safety measures they plan on, uh, on rolling out for tomorrow's protest and counter protest. Live downtown, WHAS 11 News.